Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Mango Pay Payment Gateway plugin. And in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how the OpenCart Web Store customers would now be able to make use of the Mango Pay Payment Gateway for processing the uh, payments uh, for the orders that the customers are going to place uh, within the store itself. Apart from that, we'll also be showing you how the admin would be able to set up the open cart mango Pay payment gateway from the admin backend panel and how he can set the title as well so uh, as a customer now uh, let me uh, proceed further first of all so uh, first of all i'll be logging into my customer account by tapping here on the my account uh, drop down and tapping on the login button thereafter and on the uh, login page uh, as a returning customer i'll just enter my email and password so as to log into my customer account now you can see that uh, I've logged into my customer account. Now uh, let me go ahead and let me add a few products into my cart and thereafter we'll be making a checkout to see uh, the work of the uh, payment plugin that's the uh, Mango Pay Payment uh, Gateway. So for that let me add a product first. So I'll just go to any of the uh, categories here. So I'll just I've tapped on the open cart Mango Pay category and uh, under that you can see that we have uh, multiple products. Now uh, let me go ahead and let me add a few products to my cart and uh, then we'll be making a checkout. So I've just added two items into my cart and I'll tap on the checkout button so as to uh, proceed for the, uh, for the checkout. Now at the checkout I've selected my uh, address, it's already there. If I want I can change that as well. Then I'll set up my delivery details. Thereafter we can choose our uh, shipping uh, basically. So uh, we have chosen the uh, flat rate shipping for that. Now uh, comes the section that's the payment method and under that you can see that right now we are able to see two different uh, payment options. One is the Mango Pay and the Cash on Delivery. So after the admin has enabled the uh, Mango Pay payment method from the admin backend panel for this particular module, the customers can see the Mango Pay uh, option here so as to make the payment using the same. So after choosing the Mango Pay uh, and checking the uh, terms of and conditions you just need to tap here on the continue button and then lastly you just need to tap here on the confirm uh, order button and that uh, takes us uh, to the uh, mango pay gateway as you can see so uh, here you can see that the amount to pay is 179 usd and we need to enter a card number expiry date and the cvv number so i've entered my visa card number and uh, I set up my expiry date and CVV number. Thereafter, I'll just tap here on the pay by card option or the button that is there. That's the pay one. And uh, we are redirected to, to the uh, payment uh, page. As you can see here, the merchant name is uh, payment by Mango Pay for $179. The date and the time, the card number being used and the password. So I'll, bus I'll be entering my password for my account. And then I'll tap on the submit button. And you can see that the order has been placed successfully and let me go to my account and let's check the order details for the order that we just uh, placed order history and under that uh, i'll tap here on the view uh, button and here you can see that the uh, payment method is mango pay as you can see and uh, that's how the customers basically can make use of this uh, uh, payment method that's the mango pay payment uh, gateway so as to make the payments within the store and uh, that was how they can check the uh, selected uh, payment method for the order by going to their my uh, account section and then going to the order history section so that was how the customers can make use now let, let's go to the admin backend panel and let's see how all of this can be set up by the admin in the first instance itself so with that i'll just take you to the admin backend panel I've entered my credentials and I'll tap on the login button thereafter. So also after the successful installation of this uh, particular Mango Pay payment uh, gateway on the side end panel, the uh, admin would be able to see the Mango Pay payments and under that the admin can check the Mango Pay users and uh, we'll go through that uh, in a moment. Uh, before that, let's go to the uh, initial configuration settings that are required for this particular plugin itself. So we'll navigate through extensions then extensions and on the uh, extensions page we'll choose the extension type as uh, payments 
and then we just need to scroll uh, a bit uh, down here and we need to uh, search for the uh, what we say as the uh, so here we are having the mango pay payment gateway uh, it's enabled so we'll just tap here on the edit uh, button that we have and after editing we have three different tags to configure one is the general settings then we have the mango pay settings and lastly we have the order status settings so let's go through each of them one by one so under the general settings the admin would be able to set up the uh, payment method title that would be displayed on the checkout to the customers so uh, that is uh, what I already showed you uh, when I was uh, going to select the payment methods uh, to process my order then we can set up the minimum order total and the maximum order total so minimum is this much minimum amount uh, total should be there so as to process uh, the uh, order and the maximum is uh, 3000 then we have the geo zones you can uh, choose your zones according to your own requirement there for now we have set it as all zones uh, to receive the payments from those then we have the status as enable to disable to enable the particular functionality for this uh, payment method to be uh, available to the customers at the checkout you can choose the enable otherwise tap the disable to disable the particular plugin then set the sort order for this uh, payment method that's the mango pay payment method at the checkout so whenever the customer is on the uh, payment uh, selection section uh, there if you set it as zero then this particular uh, payment method would be at the top in that particular list so that was the uh, general settings now let's go to the mango pay settings and uh, here uh, you can see the, that we have a uh, set up the uh, transaction mode so you can set it as uh, test or the production mode so the production is the live uh, usage and the test is uh, for uh, testing purposes so according to your own requirement you can choose the transaction mode uh, for the payment then you need to enter your client ID and the API key for your uh, mango pay account so uh, the admin needs to have an account at the uh, mango pay payment gateway and thereafter the admin would be getting the client ID and the API key to generate the client ID and the API key, you can check uh, within the description. I have attached a user guide. Within that, we have uh, given the uh, process uh, to fetch the client ID and the API key and how to register at the Mango Pay itself. We're also uh, partners with the uh, uh, Mango Pay payment gateway. So, uh, to get some uh, percentage uh, discount, you can basically use our uh, link so that link uh, would be available in the user guide and on the store as well So that was about the mango pay settings now. Let's go to the order status settings So here you can set up the order status as uh, complete denied expired According to your own requirement or pending as well. So I've set it as uh, complete when the payment is made Then we have the fully refunded status uh, So uh, what exactly should the fully refunded status be you can set it as on your as per your own requirement I'll choose it as refunded so as to know that the complete uh, refund has been made to the customer itself now uh, after that you just need to tap here on the uh, saved uh, save button so basically that was the uh, initial configuration before making use of the mango payment gateway at the checkout time now uh, on the left hand side panel let me go to the mango pay payment section under that we have the mango pay uh, users uh, let's go to that particular page so under the uh, mango pay users here the admin would be able to see uh, all of the customers who have made use of the mango pay payment gateway for making the uh, purchase and uh, using a purchase uh, within the store itself so all of those customers would be listed here along with the uh, total transaction amount email and the customer name the admin can filter any of the customers using the customer name email or the total transaction amount so that was how the admin can check the mango pay users and uh, now let me show you how the admin will be able to make a refund uh, for the uh, orders that have been uh, placed using the mango pay uh, payment gateway itself apart from that the admin can also go to the ap uh, go to the account section within the mango pay payment and from there as well for the orders that have been placed within your uh, web store you can make a refund or uh, you can also go or you can navigate through uh, uh, I'll just show you that uh, within the uh, backend panel you can do that uh, or, or basically the refund thing by navigating through sales and then orders and uh, on the orders section we just need to choose the order that uh, we want to refund for and under actions column just tap there now here is the order that we have just uh, placed uh, 
that was uh, using the uh, uh, Mango P payment gateway as you can see so here is the Mango P payment gateway for uh, the total was uh, $179 now on the same page here you can see that on the order history we have Mango P payment as well and here uh, the admin can check the payment details like the transaction ID the order status right now and the total that was uh, processed now to refund this particular uh, uh, amount you, the admin just needs to tap here on the refund button and you can see uh, the uh, update as refunded now the same can be uh, done uh, from the uh, mango P payment gateway uh, account so the admin just needs to uh, log into that so uh, for that uh, after logging into your mango P account as you can see here uh, for the demonstration purposes you can check the user guide as well so uh, so here the uh, admin after logging into his uh, mango pay payment uh, gateway account can uh, see the uh, complete details of the orders and from here he can basically make a refund by tapping here on the refund button as you can see and that's how uh, it can be done from the mango pay account as well so uh, that was much about the open card mango pay payment gateway plugin and i hope this particular uh, video helped you out in understanding the flow at the customer end and uh, at the uh, admin or the sellers end as well and if you still have any questions or queries then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead